Hey Rishabh, thanks for joining today. How are you? Good sir, how are you? I'm good, Rishabh. Thank you. Uh, where are you from, Rishabh? Uh, I'm from Haryana. Uh, my hometown is in Haryana, but I've, I've I went to college in Delhi, Delhi College of Engineering. So I've right. did my yeah bachelor's from Delhi. All right. Yeah. Hey, firstly, uh, congrats on your placement as a business analyst uh, through your college placement. So uh, well done. So uh, uh, Rishabh, you have taken the MATLAB and the Python course at Skilly. So uh, could you tell us your experience about uh, the course? So how did you find the course work, and uh, why did you choose that course? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sir. Uh, the content of the course was really great, and it uh, the first and the foremost thing was it didn't have any prerequisites. So anyone mm-hmm. from non-coding background or with uh, no experience in MATLAB or Python could do that course. And since there was no prerequisite, so it was from the very basics. Okay. And the content was really good. Uh, it helped me to build up that uh, analytical skill sets. Right. And do. Uh, like, yeah, if one wants to go into analytics, so that was the building course. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there are more courses to do. So those basic course were really great to start with. Right. Thanks, Jisab. So how long uh, before the interview you started to take up this course while you were studying or did you uh, study this course after you graduated? So when did you take up this course? I was still in college. I was in third year when I started these courses. Uh, okay. My yeah. So just before the uh, company started to came in college for placements, yeah. I did these courses one month before those. Okay. Uh, before the campus session. Okay. So how long did it take it uh, for you to complete the course, the major part, uh, parts of it? Yeah, uh, I could complete the course, both of the courses with ease uh, within a month. Within okay. a month, I could complete those courses. So basically, you comfortably completed the course before the interviews. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with uh, there was not a problem in completing the courses since mm. I had support on mm. WhatsApp itself and calls also. If I was getting any queries, that then I just posted those queries on WhatsApp. Uh, there was a WhatsApp group for the courses, each yeah. course. Yeah. And uh, the teachers and the support people were readily available for each query. Uh, thanks for that, Richard. So, could you describe uh, your experience with the course challenges and the projects that you did as a part of your course? Yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, uh, these courses gave me the projects that I could mention in my resume. So, I got uh, various projects, two and three, two or three projects that I could mm-hmm. mention in my resume and show the recruiters that yes, I have worked upon some. Uh, some really good uh, projects with great content that involve some brainstorming and uh, mm-hmm. gave me the skill set that I currently have that helped yeah. me to get my job. Okay. So the content of the projects and the course was really good. And if I face any challenges, and there was always help on calls and on WhatsApp groups. Okay, right. So could you just describe the interview process? So what was involved in the interview, and uh, which of your learning helped you during that interview? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, before getting placed into my current company, I had sat in a lot of interviews. Uh, uh, so I had that interview experience, so I knew that what mm. to say and what not to say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So in my current company, in the, the, my last interview where I got placed, uh, first of all, they start. Uh, there was a written test, aptitude test, mm-hmm. and then there was a GD round. Mm-hmm. which was okay which was all subjective and then came that technical round okay uh, the last round and uh, they start uh, they looked at my resume and started asking about what projects i have done and they started about asking okay what are the courses that you that you have done in into the related field and uh, mm-hmm. how these projects and these courses uh, can help me to get this job mm-hmm. so i could explain them really well because i knew the content of the course i knew the content of the projects that i have did mm-hmm. uh, that i did uh and then they started asking about uh, some technical questions about related to data related to analytics related to mm-hmm. python because yeah. we use python a lot in my current company so yeah i could easily explain them uh mm-hmm. the very basics of the python because it was okay. starting of my career right. and uh, as they saw that i have also worked on matlab so i could easily explain them yeah that i could learn uh, more skills and uh, mm-hmm. more tools which can mm-hmm. be used for a variety of works or tasks in the company. So, uh, MATLAB was uh, added advantage for me. Okay, 
Yeah. Thanks for that, Dishal. So overall, what is the biggest takeaway for you uh, from learning at Skilllink? Uh, it can be technical, it can be something that you have got, got an insight. So uh, what is the biggest takeaway for you by taking our course? Uh, the biggest <laughs> takeaway for uh, taking the course was it gave me a confidence, it gave me a boost that yeah, I have to start into uh, analytics, I have to get into analytics and mm -hmm. uh, help was always available. Mm -hmm. And that is the biggest thing that I appreciate about scaling. Help and support was always available, mm -hmm. uh, not just on WhatsApp or WhatsApp messages. It was also available on calls. And besides, yeah. uh, I also uh, received regular calls asking about how the course is going and if I'm mm -hmm. facing any issues uh, mm -hmm. while doing the courses. So yeah, it was uh, proactive of scaling that they were asking themselves that if I'm uh, doing good in courses or if I'm facing any issues. Right. Thanks, Rishabh. Yeah. So that's a great story. You started early, uh, you identified a need, you started upskill while you're still in college. So do you have any uh, uh, words for students who are in the currently studying and their colleges wanting to get their first job? So any specific advice do you have? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, since I started uh, mm. at the end of third year, my uh, placement season was about to start. I mm -hmm. would really suggest people that who are currently studying, uh, this is your golden time. Please mm -hmm. utilize it very carefully. If you are getting an opportunity like scaling, you have, mm -hmm. you get to know about scaling and their courses, do join them and uh, do utilize these courses uh, with efficiency. Mm -hmm. uh, just get into the courses, don't worry about uh, the support sessions or don't worry about the queries that you'll face. Mm -hmm. uh, these are great courses and uh, great teachers they are so they, they know what they're teaching and uh, what content you should know uh, rather, if, and it doesn't matter that if you want to go into core or non-core but these courses will definitely give you confidence and a boost to your current skill sets hey thank you Rishabh. thanks so much for joining and uh, thanks for your time today thanks for sharing your thoughts all the best oh thank you thank you sir